Elden Ring DLC is almost out, but of course some journalists with access to it got to play it a little early. But where did they take the game? Well, apparently they didn't take too kindly to not being able to summon their friends and rewrote the narrative of the game, how it became a harassment campaign against a certain journalist we all know. Well, from Vera Dark, Alyssa McConte reviewed Shadow of the El Erd Tree, simply writing a review. No, let's put commentary into it that has nothing to do with the game and establishes she's always the victim. She claims she's the victim of near endless harassment campaign when she's on social media threatening to beat people up for not agreeing with her. This is, we've covered this in topics, in videos. I covered Vera Dark stepping up saying, listen, I will step up. Let's go get in the ring and let's have a sanctioned match. Let's televise it. Let's do something for charity. But no, no, it's no, she wants to beat you up in the corner. It's never, hey, I said stupid controversial things people disagree with. Now I'm facing backlash. It's always people are being sexist and homophobic. And the article in particular, Elf Ring, Shadows of the Erd Tree, review, massive, menacing, and magnificent. Uh, at least they're saying it's a great uh, review. Uh, from software's highly anticipated DLC, could be a standalone game it's just that good well i've seen it takes about 14 plus hours to get through it we're still playing through elden ring it's going to take me until christmas at this rate but i'm okay with that because i'm having fun the game is absolutely amazing and everyone that joins me during the live streams that are generally on a friday or saturday night uh they aren't at the moment they're kind of paused at the moment but once we return mid-July, the live streams will be back for a while. Hours of playing Elden Ring Shadows of the Earth Tree, the massive singular expansion from, from software, award-winning 2022 action RPG. I realize it's paralleling my life. <laughs> Until in Elden Ring, I avoided Souls Likes. Well, I haven't played a lot of the Souls Likes, but they are great games. I've seen how difficult these games are, and it really does remind me of old school, like Mega Man games, that level of gaming out there. The punishing difficulty and rigid boundaries frustrated me immensely. I hit the wall in Dark Souls Remastered and gave up barely touching Bloodborne and avoided Sekiro like it was a poison swamp. In the real world, I have mostly avoided the ire of homophobes and misogynists in the game industry, writing an article that temporarily shakes them up before fading into relative obscurity once Reddit refreshes. So you're saying that everyone out there is like an Elden Ring's boss or a Souls-like boss? that you just can't defeat that you're sitting there putting your head through the wall trying to defeat them like any good video game does and if that's how you see your life then i don't think you're ever going to get ahead you're not going to learn the little things that it takes to move on every time you get through these games and every time you do fail that boss fight you learn something a little bit more and it's the perseverance of being able to push through it and do something more but at the same time you also have to learn humility and no one to back off and no one to walk away and do something else and move on and then maybe come back to it in the long run but at the same time, if you've moved on to something different and done something more with it, you would find strength otherwise. Sitting here, setting yourself up to completely fail and continue to fail over and over again. Well, what's the lesson that we're learning that you're set up to fail? And if Alyssa McConte is comparing this to avoiding the ire of homophobes and misogynists in the games industry. I mean, where does this really go? I thought you were supposed to be Kotaku and writing game guides. This isn't a game guide. This is a self-inflated view of oneself that maybe Alyssa needs to look in the mirror and say, listen, I know people don't like me. I know that there's a lot of stuff going on in the world, 
but maybe just maybe you don't want to continue to poke that bear i can't believe how far this really goes before i even make connection between my real world and from software game world i subconsciously attack the shadow of the earth tree and with dogged determination as if besting a boss would bleed into my everyday and imbue me with higher tier of self-confidence really really like i i i don't understand it Alyssa. Why, why can't we all just get along? Uh, I think we all kind of want the same thing in life. We all want good games. And now this is no longer about rewriting or making games good. It's about how they rewrite games and change the narrative to something that just doesn't need to be there. And then people sit there and go, well, I don't like the game. I don't want to continue with the game because it's garbage. The garbage writing in these games and then... You, follow it up with garbage optimization in a lot of these games my biggest thing with uh elden ring right now is the anti-cheat drn the digital rights management stuff that's in the background of the game it causes a stutter of the game and it knocks my controller offline every once in a while with the game and that's probably my biggest gripe with the whole game is because they, they've added something that really doesn't need to be there just to try and stop people from pirating the game well you have a price point in the 80 to 90 dollar price point people are probably going to find a different way to play their games and crack that code eventually much like how it feels to receive near endless hate comments of anonymous accounts or middle or angry middle-aged men i face shadow of the earth tree entirely alone no multiplayer summons would work for me in early access a feature i relied on in the base game so i faced it solo after almost 20 hours came out as relena says born anew well I haven't summoned a single person to play my game and I'm getting through it quite fine. Um, it's something I, I'm enjoying the challenge. Honestly, to be able to summon someone into this game, I don't want to do that. I really am enjoying the challenge of the game. And I think there's a lot to be said there. Uh, understanding how the game really works, knowing that it does input reading is a big boon. If you guys have ever played Mortal Kombat, input reading is where um, the the NPC or the bosses will suddenly change what they're doing based on what you do with the controller and input with your character. It's a way of unfairness in a video game and it was something that was done in order to suck more quarters out of you much like how Alyssa Macante is trying to suck more uh things out of the rest of us just by putting up this absolute garbage article instead of putting up an actual review for the game anyway i've read enough of this it's dribble it's garbage no it's what Alyssa really wants is to just sit there and try and knock down everyone that write and that reads the article nobody wants to read this people want to read a review on the game how to play the new game how what it's like at least they said it was a magnificent game that's a i guess the positive to come away with on this one anyway i'm your product in phoenix center shadow don't forget to like and subscribe and go oilers go because i'm throwing this in there game six is upon us